vs Black Pink, which release was better? Well, I'm here to tell you which one I, you hear that? I think is better. And it'll be done in these categories. Catches, lyrics, overall flow, vocals, and the ad -libs. Now the reason why I chose these categories is because they are what I care about when it comes to listening to music. In each category, there'll be a scoring of 10 points. And then after I'm finished, I'll be turning all of those scores into a percentage of 100. And that'll be the final rating that I give the songs. Now, I love both groups. Blackpink is my favorite girl group. I've been loving their music since their debut, but that's also the same with I've. I have been loving their music since they debuted, but they don't have as many songs as Blackpink. So I have more enjoyment with Blackpink and I love them so much, but I've is like slowly getting up there. So if you think I hate any of the groups in this, then one, you are wrong, because I absolutely love them. I'm planning on going to Blackpink's concert in Auckland for their world tour. I want to do that. So let's start with the catchiness. Pink Venom, After Like. Which catchiness is better? Well, After Like. Eyes After Like is 100% catchy for me and that's because it's catchy from the start to the end. Blackpink is legit only catchy during the chorus and for the cult chant at the start. The rest of Pink Venom is not that catchy, but it's suspense. The suspense of Pink Venom is real, but this is about catchiness. And when that soft drop happens and catches you off guard, you're like, yeah, okay, I see. This, that, pink venom, this, that, pink venom. But then for the rest of the song, there is no catchiness for me. I want a catchiness that gets you involved with the song more often. And I believe After Like is a great example of that. The moment After Like starts, you are in a catchy trance because of instantly wanting to be involved with the godsend of a disco beat they have. Oh. The na 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 parts <laughs> you hear throughout the song is just another factor of wanting to be involved. But that's an ad lib, and we'll get to that for the ad lib part. But whenever I hear the na 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 na, I see myself lip syncing or singing to it. The chorus for After Like pulls you in, and you just want to sing the chorus after your first listen. My first time reaction to both of these songs is available for you on Patreon right now for just one New Zealand dollar. If you want to watch my reaction and support me to become full time to achieve my dream, then I would really appreciate it. And there's quite a few videos up on Patreon for you, so you'll have a fun time. But yeah, for catchiness, Pink Venom gets a 4 out of 10, and Afterlight gets an 8 out of 10. But this is the weird thing. When I'm not listening to the song, I can only remember Blackpink's catchy chorus. I legitimately can't remember Ives at all. It's just when I'm listening to the song, it is so catchy and captivating. But since I can remember Blackpink's chorus, that is real catchy, then I'm gonna actually bump it up to a six out of 10. And that's because the catchiness has a memorable factor. Lyrics. Well, for one of the songs, I had no idea what the lyrics were. And for the other, I was able to understand the lyrics, which is weird. It caught me off guard. I'm not used to having K-pop songs have lyrics that make sense. Usually it's sentences pulled out of a hat and they just throw it into the song. I'm not joking. That's what it's like a high majority of the time. See? Extra more, extra large, extra special, much, triple crown, the perfect. I know, they just try to sound cool. They just try to sound cool. <laughs> But yes, After Like has lyrics that I could easily understand, which is about what comes after liking someone. Love. And they're being confident in telling the person that they love that they love them and want to move away from liking each other to being in love with each other, which is just so sweet. I love love songs. I'm a little wee bitch for love songs, okay? So like, yeah. <laughs> Just listen to this. Twice, thrice, don't ask me again. You know what my strength is? It's that I'm honest. Don't try to doubt what I just said. It's beyond like. What's after like? You and I. But then Pink Venom is kind of a flex song. There's no story at all. Just flexing. Well, they are expressing their confidence and dual identity as both sweet and deadly. But like, I don't know what else to talk about. It's just kind of bland, but hype. Just listen to this. Just fly in private, side by side, with the pilot up in the sky. And I'm wild and styled in on them, and there's no chance, because we got bodies on bodies, like this is a slow dance. It's cool as fuck, but I want stories, not just a flex drop. I have been going through character development recently. I've been loving songs. Since I got into Japanese music, I have been loving songs that have stories in it, and it is 
so good. That's why I'm loving the Japanese music scene because like you get stories within their songs, not just lyrics put together. After like nine out of 10, Pink Venom, three out of 10. I just need that story, bro. <laughs> Overall flow. I swear I don't hate Blackpink, but Pink Venom is just discombobulated. It feels like there could be three songs made out of this one song, and it does not work well for me. Why? After the first chorus, we get into a disoriented blend of rap, and I was just like, whoa, there's just so much happening in this song. It's just super jagged. Don't get me wrong, the rapping was still awesome. It's just so confusing how they just keep changing it up in the song. If I listen to parts separately, then hell yeah. But as it is blended together, then nah too much. But everything in after like blends together like when you were making your favourite smoothie. The bridge to the chorus, the rapping that randomly appears but feels natural, just everything flows so naturally about the song and you get that delicious smoothie man. No speed bumps, just a nice consistent drive. After like 8 out of 10, Pink Venom, 3 out of 10. I swear I don't hate Blackpink, I swear. Vocals. Vocals help portray your emotions, and that's what we got for both songs. Yeah, there was some noticeable auto-tune in Afterlike, but that suits it. We got to remember what type of song it is, a retro disco song. Plus the members of IVE managed to show their emotions and curiosity when they sing What's Afterlike. But then we hear their certainty in their voices saying what they want after liking each other. Which is love. We're in Pink Venom, we get them raw vocals baby. There could be a little auto tune, but I don't notice it. But since this song is hip hop where we get them hard hitting beats, we get them hard hitting vocals. Each member exudes their confidence from their voices and we feel it, which is fantastic. The amazing rapping, amazing singing, amazing strength from their voices. Blackpink will never disappoint me with their singing. I can hear their voices 24 7. Pink Venom, 9 out of 10. After like, 8 out of 10. Ad libs. Now, why do I have ad libs? Well, they're integral to me. I seriously think ad libs give songs so much more life. And sadly, in Pink Venom, there are barely any ad libs, which sucks because in this song, it feels like the members are isolated in their own parts. There's no member having any impact with their verses. It just feels like this is your part, it's yours, so just do it. It weirdly doesn't feel like they are grouped by not mixing in a lot. The lack of ad-libs just makes the song a little bit dull, which is weird because it is a hard hitting song, but it's just missing the ad-libs. I feel like ad-libs for this song would be fire. It would give that extra hype and extra life to the song and it could even make it flow even better. But it just sucks that there's almost zero ad-libs in Pink Venom. Whereas in Afterlike, we get the flow from the ad-libs. We get the extra life put into the song. We get the mixing of the members. It just makes the song that much better. But don't get me wrong, there's not a boatload of ad-libs in Afterlike but the ones we do get just give the song more life and that makes the members mix well together. Yeah, they have their own parts, but hearing the ad-libs in the background gives their parts that little extra <clears throat> the life that is needed. <sighs> and this is gonna hurt. Pink Venom, one out of 10. After like, seven out of 10. Okay, so now let's make the total scores. 22 out of 50 for Pink Venom and 40 out of 50 for After Like. Oh, this hurts my soul. Okay, okay, what's the percentage out of 100? Total scores times two, hashtag quick math. 44% for Pink Venom and 80% for After Like. After Like by Ive has won this fight of five rounds. Now, I would love to hear your thoughts on these songs. What is your score? It's always amazing seeing other people's opinions on music and I would just love to hear it. This is also a new type of video that I have made, so it is pretty big and I'm sorry about the lack of editing that there will be for this video, so I am sorry. But let me know if you want more of this, like what groups do you want me to compare next for future releases? And also, I'm going to be doing a big K-pop video for the end of summer in Korea, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, other than that, hopefully you all have a great day. Keep smiling, be safe out there because I don't want you to get sick. And uh, yeah, other than that, peace.